quarter horses get their name because the breed's optimal distance is a quarter of a mile. Reaching top speeds of 42 miles per hour, quarter horses are the fastest of the three breeds that race at Arapahoe Park. Quarter horse racing in Arapahoe Park in 2015 featured some of the richest races, best quality horses, and closest finishes that Colorado has ever seen. See if you can pick the winner in the photo finish of the Dash for Speed bonus challenge. Four noses, a neck, and a head separated the top seven. Through a blanket finish, any one of seven horses spread out across the track. Those seven horses are Rock That Wagon, Stell Surprise, Midori and Smoke, You See Me Streaking, Himalaya Jess, I'm Bo Brown, and Cruising. A tremendous finish in the Dash for Speed bonus challenge and definitely need the photo to sort that one out. Rock That Wagon won the race for the second year in a row. But while races were often decided by a head bob, there were a few standouts that separated themselves from the rest of the pack. Three Olives and Smoke was perfect in five races at Arapahoe Park as a two-year-old in 2015. Spender was unbeaten in four races in Colorado as a three-year-old last year. Owned by breeder Margot Shares, trained by John Hamus and ridden by Stormy Smith, Three Olives and Smoke won the $84,000 Cherry Creek Futurity for Colorado Breds in June. He won the $148,000 Rocky Mountain Futurity in July. Gates open, the Rocky Mountain Futurity is underway. Not the best of starts for Three Olives and Smoke. Has some work to do to get to Houdat on the outside. Let her be on the inside and Eagles Camp trying to run through. Now Three Olives and Smoke getting going, passing Houdat. Kicking clear for Stormy Smith and Three Olives and Smoke wins the Rocky Mountain Futurity. He was the fastest qualifier for the $203,000 Mile High Futurity on the final day of the season but missed the race with a minor injury sustained after the trials on July 30th. So that opened the door for Let's Get On Board in the richest quarter horse race of the season. Gates open the mile high, Futurity is underway. Let's get on board with the quickest beginning. Heads to the front. Trained by Jonathan Chavira and ridden by Daniel Torres, Let's Get On Board was winless in Oklahoma before thriving in Colorado. He then went on to qualify for the million dollar Texas Classic Futurity. But let's get on board. We'll see it through and win the mile high Futurity. Daniel Torres pumps the fist at three olives and smoke is now a three year old and will try to emulate what Spender did at a rap whole Park last year in the track's rich derby races. Owned by Aislinn Bensies, trained by Miguel Pena and ridden by Russell Vishrilli, Spender came from California to win the $92,000 Rocky Mountain Derby in July. Gates open the mile high derby. Then Spender took the cash in the $144,000 mile high derby on the final weekend of the season. Spender getting going down the outside in the pink, and here comes Spender, the Rocky Mountain Derby winner with giant strides, traveling smoothly, passing Toshiyoshi. Spender and Russell Vishrilli win the Mile High Derby. Spender's team returned to California, $100,000 richer, after their summer in Colorado.